For the first time, big oil is going to be charged for its methane emissions. But this plan could raise energy prices for everyday Americans. And how long it stays in effect remains to be seen, with a new administration preparing to take over the White House. The EPA finalizing a new rule this week that will make oil and gas companies pay $900 per ton of excess methane emissions starting this year. That fee is said to increase by $300 in 2025, before doing so again in 2026, hitting $1,500 per ton by that time. The rule won't go into effect until early next year, though the EPA is set to impose retroactive fees on companies for their methane emissions prior to that. Methane, often referred to as a super pollutant, has over 80 times the warming impact of carbon dioxide in the short term. According to the International Energy Agency, these types of emissions have contributed to nearly a third of the rise in global temperatures since the Industrial Revolution began in the 1700s. The EPA claims that by 2035, their new rule could help reduce methane emissions by 1.2 million metric tons, the equivalent of taking nearly 8 million gas-powered cars off the road for a year. Over about the next 10 years, the agency says it will also bring climate benefits of up to $2 billion while driving methane-mitigating innovations in the oil and gas sector. However, opponents claim the new standards are unattainable and would amount to a tax increase on American energy. Industry groups and Republican-led states previously challenged another Biden administration methane rule in court. But last month, the challenge failed as the Supreme Court chose to not block enforcement while the case continues for lower-level judges. The new rule is expected to work in tandem with the previous one. The American Petroleum Institute said it's preparing to work with Congress to repeal this latest methane regulation, expecting they'll get a more favorable outcome for their industry interest under President-elect Donald Trump. To get more stories about shifting energy policies amid the upcoming presidential transition in the U.S., download the Straight Arrow News app and sign up for alerts from me, Jack Almer. Thank <laughs> you.